I voted for Trump in 2016. Today, I couldn't be more ashamed of myself. I am a registered Republican. And I'm a lifelong Republican. Matter of fact, I have never voted for a Democrat in my entire life. I've been active all my life as a Republican. I voted for Trump in 2016. Today, I couldn't be more ashamed of myself. I voted for Donald Trump. Not my proudest moment. I will not be voting for him again. And I voted for Donald Trump in 2016 with the hopes that he would truly make America great again. Vote Republican 2016, but not for Trump. I would not vote for Trump. There's several reasons why. Racist, bigot. In 2016, I did not vote for Donald Trump. Sexist. Male chauvinist. I felt there were other Republicans who were far more qualified. Bully. Agitator. I did not feel that he was morally or mentally fit to be president of the United States. A liar. Corrupt. However, when he was elected, I hoped that the Republicans in the Congress would be able to help him be a good president. Swindler. Grifter. Unfortunately, that did not happen. He is showing us, and I believe God put him up there for a reason, to show us what our government is lacking and what we are losing. This man has broke us down to the very marrow and exposed our weaknesses. I grew up in the church. Character and morals and values uh, are, are big to me and my family. The hardest thing to watch in the last four or five years with all of this has been the evangelical Christians sell out to this false prophet. We're farmers and, uh, like I said, conservative Republicans and Christians. And here we're being asked to follow a man that lies and has no morals and has just nothing good I can say about him. I believe uh, if Donald Trump is elected for four more years, that our country will go down the darkest path in its history, at least, at least since the Civil War. I believe that. His mishandling of the coronavirus and the way that he has handled the situation with George Floyd's tragic death is beyond outrageous. It's not just a nepotism in the corruption. It's not just the casual racism and the cruelty towards those seeking a better life in our country. It's not just a clear desire to run the country as an autocrat in the mode of Vladimir Putin. It's not just the attempt to divide our country rather than bringing us together. It's not just the undermining of our credibility with our democratic allies around the world. It's not just proceeding over the worst economy in close to a century. It is not just the deliberate and reckless disregarding of advice from public health professionals, which has been a primary contributor to the deaths of over 100,000 of our fellow Americans. It's all of that and more. We need to bring the United States back to the United States of America, and we need to get our morals back, and we need to take care of each other, and I'm thinking I'm ready to be a Democrat. I am now a Democrat because I was so outraged that I wanted to vote in this primary and I had to change my um, affiliation. And I have done that. And I will support another party now because of Donald Trump. Not only would I crawl through broken glass to vote for Joe Biden this fall, President Trump has turned me into someone who will not vote for any Republican until this entire generation of spineless sycophants is voted out of office and banished from public life. If Joe Biden drops out and the DNC runs a tomato can, I will vote for the tomato can because I believe the tomato can will do less harm than our current president. I'm going to vote for Biden and my parents are voting for Biden and my brother and my sister-in-law are voting for Biden. And I'm sure hoping that Ohio can represent and we can show that we're country above party and that we know what's more important. This Republican will vote for Joe Biden. Joe Biden, November 2020. If anybody sees this, you know, hope, uh, hope everybody's good. Black Lives Matter. Thank you.
Thank you very much. God bless you.